What's up guys, Seville here with another Power Rangers Lightning Collection action figure review. As you can see, today I'll be talking about the GameStop exclusive Goldar figure based on the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. Now if you can give me just a few more seconds, I'll have Goldar freed from his package. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now that I have Goldar out of the package, I'm going to let him have another full rotation on the spinner. That way you can see him all the way around. So at first glance, Goldar does look great, but I do think the colors are a little bit off. The overall sculpt and detail, though, looks really good, including the wings, but they are a little loose and tend to kind of fall or lean one direction or the other. So for now, I'm going to take them out while we look at the rest of the figure. I do think that the blue of Goldar's face should have been a little bit darker, almost like a blue-black with the highlights being blue, not so much the solid blue like it is. And the gold of the armor probably should have been a little darker too. As far as actual paint errors are concerned, there's not really a lot of room for that because each sculpted piece is molded from its own color. The only exceptions being the jewel pieces which are painted on top of the gold and there is some smudging with those. I do want to show a quick picture of Goldar directly from the show just so you can see what I mean about the color differences. Now, let's see how he scales with other Lightning Collection figures, such as Lord Zed and the Putty Patroller, and of course, the White Ranger and the Green Ranger. If you still have the Legacy figures though, he is smaller than those, which isn't really good because he should be bigger than the Rangers. As far as accessories, Goldar comes with two alternate hands, his sword, and a lightning effect that goes around the sword. Of course, since his wings are removable, you could count those as accessories too, but I really do wish they had added some sort of alternate piece to put up to have his wings appear to be closed or folded in like they do here on the ship. Articulation-wise, Goldar does have all the same points as most Lightning Collection figures, but the armor does hinder it quite a bit. With that said though, I'm just going to do a quick count of all the points he does have. Such as the neck, shoulders, biceps, butterfly joints, double jointed elbows, and the wrist. He also has the upper torso ball joint as well as the ab crunch. Instead of a tornado waist, the twisting motion does come from the upper torso. Unfortunately, the hips don't have a lot of motion side to side because of the armor, but they do better front to back. Moving down the legs, he does have the thigh cut twist, the double jointed knees, as well as the ankle with full pivot motion. The wings themselves do have a little bit of articulation as well, with there being a point right where it connects that folds back and forth, as well as a joint right around the jewel piece where it'll close up a little bit. The biggest problem with this figure is how loose it became after I did the articulation segment. I filmed this section in slow motion, that way you can see just how much it's flopping around with me putting very minimal effort into moving him. My Lightning White Ranger did have a problem with the neck peg being really loose, but it was only that one joint. It wasn't practically the whole figure like this is. He's already a little off balance because of the wings, and this is not helping. And now, with all that said, it's time to run the Lightning Collection Goldar figure through my guidelines for a complete and fair review. It is a brand new sculpt that is highly detailed, but I don't think the colors are very accurate. Back on the plus side though, it does have more than 20 points of articulation, and it is in scale with the Lightning Collection. It does include a few accessories, and the roughly $20 price point is fair for this line. The biggest issue with this figure is the quality control aspect with the loose joints, which does lead to a problem with the balance as well. And finally, Goldar being a GameStop exclusive will probably lead to accessibility problems because there's already been issues with pre-orders being cancelled. Which means this figure can only get a 6 out of 10 star rating, but that means it's still pretty awesome and worth owning for casual fans. So if you're already in this line, and you can find Goldar pretty easily, I do still recommend adding him to your Lightning Collection. Thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, GET OVER HERE! And subscribe to Civilian Collectibles.